that got Abuja Iman Nuru suspended is worse than kidnapping Seth Sheikh Ahmed Gumi. You see this thing when they talk, say all of them are the same thing, eh? <laughs> no be saying a lie. Yo. These people, they know their clique. Anybody who tries to speak the truth, he becomes a black sheep of the family. Because this Iman has been speaking the truth to the government. He did not start it today. For a long time, he has been criticizing this government, you know, asking them to do the needful about the insecurity issue and other challenges in Nigeria. You, you understand that the government will always, you know, keep deaf ears. They are pretending to, you know, to, to, to be fighting corruption, but they are the worst corrupted government so far in the history of this country. Bandit kill, why they look the other way? This is really very bad. Now, this man don't they support the arts. He's even supporting why they, sacked, uh, they, they suspended him. As I'm talking to you right now, he has been sacked. He has been banned from entering the mosque. He's against the Muslim law to speak against their leaders. Whether their leader, they do bad. You know, get, you know, get the right to correct them. You know, get the right to tell and say, or oh God, wait till they do not good, say as you go take the one. That is the reason why these people will not know the truth. They will never know the right thing to do because they are above correction. Controversial Islamic scholar Shaikh Hamed Gumi has reacted to the suspension of Chief Iman of Apple Legislative Quarters Mosque, Shaikh Nuru. Sheikh Nuru was suspended as chief imam of Apple Mosque by a steering committee after his sermon against President Muhammad Buhari, Buhari's government and his handling of insecurity in the country. The cleric had not Buhari about not visiting Kaduna after an Abuja Kaduna train was attacked by terrorists last Monday. Eight persons were confirmed killed during the attack, while many were kidnapped by the terrorists. Before the train attack, some terrorists had also stormed the Kaduna airport, killing one person. And twice within 24 hours, bombs were discovered and disabled by the police in the state. The cleric had urged worshippers and entire Nigerians to shun the police in 2023 if the government faced to face the, insecurity, the security problems and other challenges confronting the country. According to the committee, the Simon was capable of inciting public outrage. Many Nigerians have criticized the government for allowing the, allowing the suspension of the cleric whom they have described as speaking truth to power. Riatin Gumi, in an interview with Daily Post on Monday, described it as sentiment overriding intelligence. According to the controversial scholar, the imam was wrong for trying to discourage Nigerians from participating in the election to vote out bad leaders saying he is worse than kidnappers. He said it is cause of sentiments overriding intellectuals, calling masses not to vote out the incompetent government by mass voting is worse than the few kidnappings and misplaced judgment, he has said. Meanwhile, Nigerians have this to say. Many are completely enslaved because of religion. Gumi and terrorists are arms of APC government. A man, Nuru, Sincere Simon, went against the terrorism business of Gumi and warns, you dare go you dare not go against Gumi's cash cow. He will crawl out from the trenches where he hides with the terrorist agent and attack the person. Emma, do you want to do you want to stop or close the business that Gumi has invested so much campaign, energy, time, and all that? Of course, you don't expect Gumi to keep quiet when his business is being threatened. 
Honestly speaking, I don't know what Nigerian government is waiting for concerning this man. Investigating this man has been long overdue. Every day this man makes himself even more questionable. But because nobody is currently responsible for Nigeria, he always gets away with it. <laughs> Not just go there because Gumi is untouchable. There is no gain saying that there is something between this man and the present people at the helm of affairs in Nigeria. This is getting too much. They create more security menace so that security spending can be on the increase so that some people you know can reap from it. Do you get it? If you don't, forget it. This man, if Nigeria was with a sane leader, should be he should be rotting in jail but he can even speak freely this man be somewhere close to namdekanu seriously they seem to have much in common someone just dropped that really <laughs> i don't think so we know them when they speak a country of double standard a courageous imam who spoke a man who spoke who speaks the truth to power is suspended. <laughs> Why a non-terrorist sympathizer is pampered? One of the many reasons we may never get it right. Exactly. It's not gonna be easy. We may never get it right. That is the truth. We is talking about suspension. <laughs> the man has been sacked. They are not doing the work of God by themselves honestly this is really very bad those who have been speaking have continued to talk but they have been brandished the black the black sheep of the enemy but those who have refused to keep mute are enjoying because they are the the nice people but one day everybody will give account to their date on earth and this bandit attack of a thing must surely get to every one of them. They will feel the pains. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you so much. Bye for now.